Today we're out here in Broadwater in the beautiful Gold Coast of Australia and we're looking for a stranger to share a picnic with. I'm trying to find a stranger to have a picnic with me. Would you be up to eating? <laughs> I'm a bit busy at the moment, I would otherwise. Off, my name's Austin Huggins and I run a TikTok channel called Finding Huggy where I travel the world hiding things for people to find. I asked you guys what city I'm in, now we're gonna go hide the mystery box. Now although I'd consider myself a TikToker, I'm here on YouTube because YouTube's been a lifelong dream. For a bit of context, this was a branded video for a company called Chris's Dips that paid me to make a TikTok and you guys have been asking for the behind the scenes footage of me getting rejected and the longer interview of the person that I ended up putting in the video. So if you want to skip to that longer interview portion, I'll put it in the description below. But in the meantime, enjoy all the rejection I faced. Excuse me there lad, I'm looking for a stranger to have a picnic with. Would you be up to eating with me? Ah, uh, no thank you. No worries, have a good day lad. You too. I'm looking for strangers to have a picnic with. Would you guys be willing to eat with me? Oh, we just ate. Ah, <laughs> bad timing. Enjoy the rest of your uh, night. Thanks. Would you eat with me? Oh, uh, I'm okay, thank you. At this point in the video, I probably received about eight no's so far and realized that this day was gonna be a lot longer than planned, but while we were out there, we started sharing out some of the food with some of the people that couldn't sit down to eat because who doesn't like some free cookies? And we're just out there trying to make people smile anyways. Thank you, what do you say? There's a cookie over here too. Thank you. are very welcome. Thank you. Uh, good? <laughs> Thanks so Thank much. Thank you, enjoy your day. I found the perfect spot for a picnic, but look who else I've found, this legend from earlier. Today has been a day of running into fans. He actually saw me in Kmart. Two kids just recognized me off TikTok. Let's go do a challenge. Paper, scissors, rock. The winner, I'll buy them whatever they want. <laughs> Let's go shopping. Uh, he approached me politely afterwards. Now I got a lot of shopping to do, but we're gonna run him his bag of Sour Patch Kids real quick. Man of my word. What's up? You wanna say anything to the YouTube world? Um, make sure to follow this guy. This guy's a massive inspiration. So subscribe to his YouTube channel. Yo, I appreciate that. Don't do that. It will break your phone, I promise. The second you hit subscribe, your phone will blow up. So will you help me set this picnic up? 100%. Appreciate you, dude. Running into awesome fans and getting them to do the work for me. See you later. Now while Quentin's in the background setting up the picnic, I thought I'd talk to you guys real quick about how I got this brand deal. So I'm gonna insert the pitch that I sent to Chris's dips right here. Hey team, Finding Huggy here. The way I would incorporate this campaign into my branded style would be to set up a picnic. I'd set the tone with blankets and activities and make it a really inviting experience and then film the fans or strangers reaction to trying your product. At the end of the video, I would reward the stranger for taking time out of their day by presenting them with a cash prize. Check my page for past examples of what I do. It'd be a breeze to slap together and also promote your product. Video quality wise, that pitch I sent to Chris's dips was one of the worst pitches I've ever sent. But it just goes to show that a good idea is a good idea because they ended up approving the brief. They paid me $550, half up front, half when the video was released. And I used that first up front money to pay for the products that I used in the video and to provide the prize money that I end up giving the person at the end. So what's really important to me when I work on a brand deal and push things in front of my followers on TikTok, it has to have a value add where I'm either hiding something for my fans to find or paying for an experience for a stranger. After having the picnic all set up nice, I like to take advantage of the fact that I have the products on display for this brand. So I take some extra pictures for them as well. So when I submit the TikTok video, I send them some bonuses that they didn't pay for, but it takes me like 10 more minutes to take some extra pictures. But we're gonna go now and find a stranger to say yes. I'm trying to find a stranger to have a picnic with me. Would you be down to have some food with me? I'm, I can't at the moment. I'm so No sorry. worries. Enjoy the rest of your day. I really appreciate the offer. Cheers. Thank you. We're about to head off. No worries. Uh, Enjoy the rest of your day. If you're over here, it's definitely. Like yeah, we definitely. <laughs> see it. Do you want a cookie or anything? YouTube or TikTok or something? Uh, TikTok. Yeah. TikTok? TikTok? Yeah. yeah. Uh, if you type in finding, I'm the first to pop up, but I don't recommend following my account because it'll break your phone. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good one. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. What was your Hello. name? Tommy. Tommy. Tommy? From nice Yorkshire to meet you. Originally from from Yorkshire. Yorkshire. My best mate's from Yorkshire. Now, Tommy boy there from Yorkshire, I actually ended up sitting down and talking to him for nearly half an hour. And that's why it takes me so long to film this content because I have such micro interactions with all these people I meet. But it's all about turning strangers into friends anyways and spreading positivity. So I'm all for it. Excuse me there, guys. I'm looking for strangers to have a picnic with me. Would you guys oh, be up? Sorry. Oh, no worries. Oh, cheers. Have a great day. Still not 
Anyone? Oh yeah, I think I might pack it in. We'll try again in Byron Bay tomorrow. Big reason why you're seeing my face after the fact in this video a lot is I actually had a lot of corrupted files from that vlog that day. Quentin was still here guarding my camera, but yeah, after getting about 60 to 70 no's that day, the sun was going down, so I went back to my fan Quentin and we decided to pack it up. All those no's today were no to wine and cheese and we had some extra surprises for them, but Quentin said it the best. The person who says yes will need it the most and appreciate it the most. We're gonna try again tomorrow. I'll see you there. Well, it's day two. We're gonna try again. I bought some more dips and now we're in Byron Bay. I actually got someone at the end of yesterday after I packed up. Oh yeah, right? You're down? Yeah. No way, that's like 60 people today. But I don't think that I finished the video, so I'm gonna try and get a fresh person to say yes and today's the day. Today's the day we're getting this video done. Mark my words. Everyone yesterday was super polite when they said no, and no's are just part of what we do. But we're trying it again in Byron Bay around lunchtime, so we have a better shot of getting that yes. Here we are, this is our setup for the day. It's a little different than yesterday's. It's mostly in the picnic basket. Then I'm gonna walk up to people with a single plate and try and get them to have a picnic with me. Hopefully we can get this one done quick. Well, I do have a bottle of wine that might cure your hangover. Man, but... I'm sorry if there's a photo. <laughs> I'm not a video right now. Absolutely, um, man. Hey, right, thank look. you for your time, brother. Excuse me there. I'm looking for a stranger today to share a picnic with. Would you join me for a picnic? We found her! Let's go! I'm trying to make a YouTube vlog at the same time. Yeah. I'm new to YouTube. I'm more of a TikToker. I feel like I've watched the videos that this is gonna become. Yeah, for strange. sure. <laughs> Finally in one, right? Yeah, you see the other side. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on holiday. <laughs> yes! I'm always on holiday. I honestly couldn't have even told you what the other was. So what's your story? What are you here for? Uh, just traveling. Yeah? So, from London. Been here a couple of weeks. Doing Cairns down to Sydney. Uh, back home in about a week. That's amazing. So I got yeah near the end of the trip. Mm -hmm. well, but you, how'd you get into this? How long have you been doing this? So I bought a camera similar to that and started traveling with it. So I make scavenger hunts on TikTok. Oh, that's cute. And uh, yeah, it kind of blew up from there and I've been doing that for three years. So mm -hmm. traveling around, just spreading positivity is the aim of the videos. Sure, fantastic. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure stuff like this stuff happen in London. I just can't imagine it. <laughs> it absolutely does happen in, in London. Maybe not quite my content. My content's like, I want to ask a stranger to come mm. have some food with me. Uh, people, that stuff's pretty rare these days. People don't talk to you in the street. <laughs> yeah. Like Someone says like, good morning, you're like, they've got to be American. Like. I wouldn't have met you if I didn't try and ask 70 people. Nick, so what's the, what's the weirdest stranger interaction you've had? <laughs> I was on a nude beach in Berlin. This little old lady wanders out and taps me on the back. Basically, she's telling me that my back's sunburn and like pointing out the burn I've got on my back. In German, on a nude beach. If you're gonna do something like that, you've just gotta chuck yourself in it and, and just Legend. do it, you know? So someone from the UK, what do you think of Chris's dips? <laughs> They're nice, I like them. <laughs> it was so scripted, it's not making it in. If I had said no, would you kick me out? Yeah, yeah it would've been alright. Oh, final question, why did you say yes today? Honest answer, I had nothing better to do. <laughs> had nothing better to do. Well, I believe strangers are friends we haven't met yet, and Chris's dips is surprising you with $50 today for saying yes. That's for you. Oh, shit, cool, thank you. <laughs> You're very welcome. Thanks for saying yes. Strangers are friends we haven't met yet. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were doing a bit. <laughs> no, that's you. That's all you. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's what we do. No, thanks for saying yes. Thanks for being open to it. I know you gotta run, but you're yes. awesome. I'm gonna be honest with you, this YouTube video took way too much time and effort to put out than I'd like to admit, but we're gonna be changing that. I'm gonna be posting a lot more regularly in the future right here on this channel. But thank you so much to each and every one of the 333 current channel subs that have chosen to subscribe. This is just the beginning. YouTube's always been the dream. I've just been making TikTok videos for the past three years and having a blast over there. But if you're curious on how the rest of this TikTok ad turned out, I'm gonna play it right now. But remember, strange Strangers are just friends you haven't met yet. Have an awesome day. People don't talk to you in the street. Excuse me there. I'm looking for a stranger today to share a picnic with. I found a stranger to say yes to having a picnic with me, but what they don't know is that Chris's Dips has a surprise for her at the end of this video for trialing their new plus range. I didn't tend to like avocado. I wonder what it tastes like with a Sour Patch Kid. That's my question. It's interesting. I like that one. The spicy corn capsicum and sour cream was her favorite. Surprising you with $50 today for saying yes. Oh, cool. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thanks for saying yes. 
I just finished filming a video for Chris's dips and I had some leftover product that hasn't been touched. We're not gonna eat it. I was wondering if you guys would like it. Chris's dips, that's my name. Yeah, no <laughs> way. It's meant to be, man. Nice to meet you, Chris's dips. Is it okay if I use this clip in a YouTube video? If no, I can delete it. Go for it. You guys want food? There's so much leftover. Come join me. I'll turn the cameras off. 